Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy. Now I keep getting asked about uh, various questions, how to drape one picture over another picture. Um, in particular, how to put things onto people's faces, how to put like face painting onto people, or equally how to put things like logos onto shirts. So today I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. So we're going to start off by putting a picture on top of a face. So I'm going to open up Photoshop and here we go, here's the face that we're going to use. Now the first thing I've got to do is I've got to create a map with this face um, which contains black and white and those black and white areas of the photo relate to the high and low spots in the actual what would be the, the, the actual person. So first thing I do, image adjustments and turn it to black and white and I'll just accept the, the default settings and now I'm just going to use dodge and burn just very quickly just to just to emphasize certain areas. So I'm, I'm burning here to emphasize the darker areas and I'll switch over to dodge and this is going to bring up the highlights. Okay so I've got some highlights there and now all I simply do is I say save as and I'm going to call it map PSD. And I'm just going to put this I'm just going to put this on the desktop here. Okay, so that's saved it as map PSD, and I'll now close that one down. And I'm just going to check that we've actually got that saved on the desktop. Yes, we have. And I'm just going to check that it opens up okay, because sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so I've got that, so I'll close it down. I'll now go back to the original picture, which now you'll see is called Face JPEG rather than map PSD. So I bring this up, and now I'm going to place in there uh, what I want to drape over. So if I'll place, and I'm going to place on uh, a nice Union Jack. Now because I can't see through the Union Jack I'm just going to turn the opacity down a bit so that I can see through it. And now it's much easier for me to actually position this on the person's face. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm lining up the central stripe uh, with the bridge of the nose there. And oh, I'm going to line up the eyes as well just so that I get the eyes nicely positioned. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'll click apply. Now I want to actually distort this according to the curves on her face. So I'm going to say filter distort displace and now this is asking me for a, a map to distort it to. Now the displacement map is the one we did earlier in black and white. So I'm just changing the scale to 5 and 5. Now obviously you'd have to play around with these because they depend upon the resolution of both of the images you're working on. So I click OK. I'm going to map and it's distorted the map to fit the curves of her face. Now that still doesn't look very good at the moment so a couple more things for me to do. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to take the painting off her hair because that would be unrealistic and in order to do that I put a mask on here, go across to my brush tool, just zooming in a bit closer here and I'm simply painting on the mask over her hair now you can be as careful as you like on this, I'm just rushing it through because I've only got a limited time on the video. Um, but because I'm using a mask, if I do accidentally slip over here, I just press X on my keyboard to exchange the colours and I'm now painting out the mask with the other colour. So you can actually be a bit sloppy with this. Okay, that looks a bit better now, it looks like a hair is going over the face paint, but the face paint still doesn't look that realistic. Um, one reason is because of the type of blending mode that we've set. I'll just show you a couple of the other options. Overlay tends to work pretty good. Um, and the other one that works pretty well is Multiply. Uh, multiply gives you, an, I think, a much more realistic colour. And then again, obviously, you can play around with the, the opacity just to get the correct colour that you want. Now, one way of doing it is to turn the opacity quite low and then simply duplicate the layer, which has got the the, the um, the displaced picture on it. Uh, last thing I'm going to do, in fact I'm just going to undo the, the duplicate layer. I've got one more thing to do on the masking here. Obviously I've got to do her eyes and I need to do her eyes like that because unless it was a pretty cruel face painter he wouldn't have painted her eyes out. I'm sure there are a few cruel ones around but uh, not in my Photoshop. So here we go. 
that's me painting out her eyes and again I can go over the edges and then just switch the colors around because I'm working on a mask so I switch the colors around and paint out the bits I missed and the same on this eye now I've cheated slightly here because I've made it easier for myself because I've, I've got a distinct color underneath where the eye should go uh, there we go and I think that looks quite realistic and now what I'll do is I'll do a control J just to duplicate that layer that's there um, just to bring up a bit more color I could have done it just by changing the contrast as well uh, sorry the, the opacity on that layer um, I prefer doing it by duplicating a layer you've got a little bit more control there um, I can go in again actually with the with the mask here and I can just tidy up some of these edges here and actually give it a bit more of a, a knock there okay that's the first one I'm now going to show you another option here I'm not going to save that um, another option is say for example on a t-shirt yeah. so I've got a picture here of unknown lady with a t-shirt and I'm going to start off the same again so I'm going to say image adjustments black and white because I'm going to create my mask Again, okay, that's fine. Um, this time, image adjustments. Uh, let's look at brightness and contrast on this one. I'm just going to brighten up the image a little bit and increase the contrast just because it brings out the difference between the, the dark colors and the light colors. And then, okay, and now I'm going to do my old trick with a dodge and burn just briefly. just to emphasize the dark and the light areas again and then file save as I'm going to save this as a PSD again and once again I'm just going to call it map because that's just what I always do I always call the picture that I'm working on I always call the displacement map map and again close that image down and open up the original again now once more file place placing this same image on there not because I'm exceptionally patriotic just because I'm too lazy actually to go and bother getting another image now here what I'm doing is I'm lining up the center of the flag with the center of her her t-shirt there now you notice that on this side it's going off that's fine we're going to just use a mask later on and delete it okay filter I can just say displace this time okay choose the map and there it is and you'll notice where the creases are it's given it a bit I'm gonna go on here straight away and I'm gonna zip over to this side with my brush tool and I'm just gonna start painting over it but I might as well turn the opacity down just so I can see quite what I'm doing so otherwise I can't really see the t-shirt underneath which is a bit of a pain so I'm just now painting on here, I need to make sure I'm painting in black, otherwise I'm just deleting the mask. And as you'll see, I'm taking it quite slow because I'm just doing this with a mouse. Uh, if you're using a graphics tablet, obviously you can be a lot faster. And there we have it. And equally, you can put a little bit of a feather on the edge of this just to make it look slightly better. But actually, it doesn't look too bad and again I'm just going to change the modes I'm going to change it to overlay first of all and you'll see that straight away that suddenly looks like something that could have actually been painted on the t-shirt and you can see especially because of the creases here that it's brought out the detail and have a look at what multiply looks like definitely now looks like it's painted on the t-shirt rather than just something I've played around with on Photoshop okay I hope that's been useful to you guys uh, I'm the Adobe Guy, as always, and thanks for listening.